And uh, the other ogre uh, is, or sorry, the other orc that was hit by Melf's acid arrow is just running from you guys at this point. Well, I remember it's the ogre that's on Cobblepot. Okay. And I strike it from the back. Uh, yeah. Well, it's actually pretty high up, so you'd have to hit his. Um, your ah uh, no, you can get a you can get a back tech in. All right. What do I get? Bonus. Uh, plus two. So it is now a plus seven and a plus six. All right. That is a hit. That is a. That is a uh, single crit. And it's large? Yes. You're going to do a shit ton of damage. Yeah, I start like going ham on his back. It's, it's D12 and 2D12. Oh my god. Get Wait, off what? Cobble. Ow, girl. <laughs> oh my god, he just... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... Yeah, you got to strike at this thing, and you just take both your swords and strike right in its abdomen from its back. And uh, when you pull out the weapons, this thing slumps. Uh, Cobblepot, can you make a dex check to see if it falls on you? Uh, okay. Well, I, I assume it's falling on me. Dex check to see if I get out of the way? Yes. Okay. Uh, 19. You know, you, you saw Riley coming from this other tent, uh, and you were able to get away before this thing fell completely on top of you. Excellent. <laughs> you just did 36 damage in one attack, by the way. Ain't no thing. That is, uh, <laughs> that is impressive. That is pretty nuts. Uh, yeah, um, looks like everything in the camp has been destroyed. All right, I started cutting right. off. Loot, 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 loot. 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 Who loots what? I started cutting off one of the ogre's heads to bring back, but then I realized that's kind of large, so... I go in one of the tents, one that looks like it was the captain's, if there is one that looks better than the rest. Uh, the ogre tent, where that one appeared from, would, would be better. Or, sorry, would, yeah. would look better. Uh, I'll go you, in that one. When you go inside, do you see a... Uh, a cage with uh, what looks to be a human in front of it. Her hands, uh, you notice it as a woman, her hands are clasped on this cage and she's like, please, please let me out, let me out. Girl, who are you? She goes, they, they took me from the town. Please, 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 please let me out of here. I'll let you out. I Come over Sit and... back. <laughs> You're not even here. <laughs> not even there? Am I not there? Am I making this up? Uh, is she naked? He, he was the one that spoke up first. You would, you would hear the, the noises, but you wouldn't be inside the tent. Yeah, well, I will then proceed. Like, if I hear someone going, help, help, I'll, you know, I will go towards the general direction of the please. Yeah. White Knight Rich, the rescue. There you go. Oh, yes, White Knight. Way to <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing something good, so way to try and, you know, use a, a nice term to degrade it. Well done. <laughs> There's a person that needs, literally is begging to be saved, and I'm offering to help, and you're like, oh, yeah, fucking White Knighting that person. Jesus, we're just such a dick. Exactly. I would way to go, to Riley. The if it was go. a man, you wouldn't be doing that. When I first saw him going to Help that yourself, tent, woman. I'd go to the Equal orchestra. rights now. <laughs> I will talk to the girl, and if Rich comes in, I'll say, Rich, relax. I'll say, woman, what have you done for this Oryx to entrap you like this? I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. They, they stole... Are you not going to open this fucking uh, cage? I will I, open it. You must understand we're travelers and we've been deceived many times. I have 18 dash, like 30 strength. I want to use, try and bend the bars. I have a 20% chance. Okay, give me a D100. <sighs> no. Rich, with all his might, he goes like that, <laughs> spits on his hand, goes up to these bars, and <sighs> nothing happens. <laughs> he Does he tries. yell out, like, I'll free you first? Yeah, yeah. Can we can we find some keys to open this cage? The poor girl's trapped inside here. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll find keys for you, woman. But please, as we do, try and tell me what, why you think you're here, and how okay. we can be sure that you're cage, not. Guys, what is she like? Some sort of secret spot? Yes. Let's plant a a girl in a cage in case they kill us. Then she's gonna dab. 
She's in a cage. She's clearly a prisoner. Well, well the people in the town said that the orcs never killed anyone, right? Or no, they, I don't know why they would take prisoners if they just wanted food. Just ah, well, well, please let them. me He's, out. Look for the damn keys. <laughs> you know who has the keys, Miss? And by the way, what is your name? I'm Rich. She she looks at you and uh, says her name is. Uh, her name is Omosa. Omosa? Omosa. Omosa. I used to know an Omosa. Well, Omosa. please, please, I, I think that I think that one of the the ogres has the keys. Okay. He keeps you it on his perfect. waist. He keeps it on his waist. Those keys. I'll keep looting that tent. Rich will go get the keys for you, woman. I am looting the the orc tent. I okay. started cutting off one of the the ogre that I'm working on, whose head I cut off, and realized it was too large. I started cutting off one of his hands now. Okay. I switched different ogres looking for keys. I don't care about anything else. Okay, Rich, you find a key eventually on uh, the ogre right outside the tent. You run back in and let it, you open it, let her out. I I immediately open the cage. No questions asked. Okay. Uh, she goes, "Thank you, thank you, thank you," and and uh, runs out of the cage, and uh, starts running, just out of the camp. She Wait, goes, Miss. Amosa, stop her. I gotta get out of stop here. I gotta her. get out of here. I say, stop her. Why? What do you mean, why? She's free. Uh, who are we? Uh, what are you gonna try and uh, sleep her? What the hell's wrong? I would bring her back to the town and find out. Uh, whatever, whatever, Rich. What? She, but this we just freed a slave, and she wants to run away. That's her prerogative, right? Uh, no, he doesn't say prerogative. Uh, she can do that. <laughs> Do I She's see this happening? Nuts. Oh, yeah. You, well, you see this woman running out of this, this tent, and you hear a bunch of arguing inside. By the way, Ryan, you found seven silver on or in that uh, tent that you were in. Command. Command. Um, hold on. Okay. Uh, I'll start running after her. I think something's, like, not all right. No, I don't want her to go off. I, I'm just going to give her the, uh, the old command die. Okay. What? What? No, it's okay. It's okay. You don't understand. It's it... Ryan's very familiar with this spell. <laughs> thanks yeah. to me. Uh, she, f as, as she's running the fastest uh, to her ability, she uh, takes a fall and like falls down on the ground, lifeless. <clears throat> so do I catch up to her? If you're running after her, yeah. Okay, so I get down beside her body and I check her pulse. It's uh, it's still. Uh, wait. There's actually a very descri uh, good description of what you would feel. Or I check if she's breathing. Uh, she is not breathing. All right, so I pick her up into my arms and I walk back with her. Okay, after, well, you walk back to her where? Into the tent? Um, just into the town. Yeah, I go find Rich and Ricardo. Okay, you guys see Riley walking around with this lifeless woman in her arms. Good job, Riley. Did we um? I did we find it. anything in the tent? Cobblepot, did you just kill that woman? Look, this woman is lifeless. What happened to her? Everybody, just chill out. Now we need to figure out what's going on Cobblepot, with this woman. Cobblepot, did you just Are kill? Are we going to die? She ran out of no. the. No, everybody, and listen died. to me. Everybody, Riley, is she dead? Chill out. She's not chill breathing. out. She's, she's not. Going, I pull out my sword and look at Cobblepot. She's going what to have you done. <laughs> she's Relax. Going to wake up in a couple of minutes. Everyone needs to take a chill pill. Do you have I any? Not, I distribute three chill pills amongst the rest of the party. <laughs> <laughs> she's not breathing though. Now here's what we need to do. We need to take this woman. We need to figure out what her story is, and we need to bring her back to the town. To feel to corroborate her story. Right when you say that, she, she wakes up within in Riley's arms, just like what the? Oh God, I'm not dead. Oh, you're all right. Yo, she's all right. What the fuck did you do to me? Are you oh, okay? I didn't see anything? I'm sorry. My companions here seem to think that you. We need to question you about something and take you back home. I don't know what they want. Um, She's listen, swimming around woman, in Riley's you are arms. From the, and, you are from sure. the town, right? So we'll take you there. We'll escort you there. We'll make sure you're safe. And did, we had a mission to destroy this camp. So yeah, we might as well let them know. That, that she wants to go. That's not our responsibility. It's not about responsibility, Rich. You can't just trust everyone in the world of Ebon. 
She was in a fucking cage. When she so starts what? squirming, I gently let her down. Okay. And I ask I... her if everything's okay now. <clears throat> Rich, how many times have I fainted? Have, have I fake fainted and you've believed it? Ask your questions of this poor woman. I think that you guys are wasting your time with her, but ask away. I will not stand in your path. Ma'am, we won't. Be sorry. Can we, what? Can we? Can we? Look, if you're not gonna let me run, can we please just get out of here? I hate this fucking place. Yes, almost. I will get out of here. In yeah, just we'll, a we'll help you get back to town. Just looting, and we can head back to town. Because, okay, I'll, I'll be. Out. I can't be in here. I can't see the side of that that prison anymore. I'll, I'll be outside. I'll stick with you guys. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Thank you. You you seem to be the only nice one here. Thank you. Thank you. I walk. I Are you so we just fucking saved you. She's like, please, Rich. Let's let's go outside. This your I, friend I, scares me. I'll stick with her. Trust me. I'm not gonna let her go. I walk. <sighs> okay. I go grab the ogre hand that I cut off. How big is it? Uh, it's about probably like a foot and a half. Uh, All right, from I wrist start, to fingertip. I start dragging it behind me, and then I realize this also won't do. So I cut off one of the fingers. Okay. Uh, let's. Why don't we do? Yeah, let's do fingers or eyes if we're gonna go and and prove that we did this. Okay. Is it, did anyone loot the uh, the ogre tent? Ryan, I think you said you looted it. I, looted I was the looting the cool, the good looking tent. Okay, but you walked in and started talking with the woman. So do you go back to looting once she leaves? Well, I I was looting while Rich was getting the keys, and I was looting until okay, so, Riley okay, came back you, with her. Okay, you win. You win. You looted it first. You find a uh, small chest in the back uh, next to. Uh, what looks to be where the the leader of this group was sleeping. Sweet, I open it. Uh, when you open it, you find uh, you find uh, sixty gold within, and a couple of Sick. jewels. Sick. There's a there's two jewels. One uh, one is blue. One is red. Wow. Okay. I pocket the jewels, and I'll give the sixty gold to. Can you give me a perception pots. check? Yes. Is anyone else in the tent with him? Searching? I think Rich and no. Riley are. No, I well, walked with the girl. Depends, depends uh, when I, yeah, depends when I found it. Um, I was alone in the tent for about half the time, I would say. As you're searching, you realize that whatever this uh, this place, whoever was sleeping here, it is not ogre-sized. And Rich, you're walking outside to the middle of the encampment with her. Mm -hmm. um, she, uh, when oh. you get about halfway out, she reaches for one of your swords and stabs at you. She pulls it out before I get a chance to do anything. Uh, yeah, you. I would think at this point you've. She's gained your oh. trust and yeah. walking next to you, and she's able to grab it and take a stab right next to you. Okay. Okay. I as soon as you said that, well, I you realized have a, you have a bastard sword. That would be a much harder grab because it's on your back, right? Right. What That's is on your hip? Do you have an axe? Um, I gave. Yeah, I actually would have. I can't tell because my character sheet won't fucking load. Hold on, let me try and. I gotta open idea. up Photoshop first. Uh, right. I did, and it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, uh, I think I have, have a... two hand axes left. Yeah, she grabs one of your hand axes, which does d4. D4. And, is it d4 uh... slash d6? It might be d4 slash d6. I think it's d4. Oh, no, hatchet is d6 slash d4. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So uh, 50, 50 chance she grabs my magical hand axe, so you can make that decision. Because right, I've got one magical and one non-magical left. Two is magic. She grabs the non-magical one. Okay. And swipes at you and cuts at your uh, abdomen on the side, and you take six damage. And as she does that, she drops it and starts running again. As soon as, as soon as I realize that the tent is not... I'm guessing we're going back to the past just a minute or two. Yeah. Uh, I, I, would, I would run out of the tent and say, Go after Rich. Um, she starts to run. Yeah, I, I would like to uh, tackle her, just like chase after her and. Rah. Uh, give me. A, I guess just a d twenty to. You could totally catch up to her, but to to jump and leap at her and tackle her, you have to at least roll a hit. So give me a d twenty. He's not bleeding out of Any his. Any bonuses abdomen? or? 
Like uh, normal? You're, you're, no, because you're trying to catch up to her. I would think it's just normal D20. Okay, but not like my plus three for level? Uh, plus three back attack. I'll take, I'll take your level, but not for back attack. Okay, cool. 18. Uh, yeah, you have no problem grabbing her, uh, like lunging at her, grabbing her by her w waist and pulling her down to the ground. Sweet. She's like, let me go, let me go. Now that was unpleasant. Why the hell did you just stab me with my, slash me with my own hand axe? Like, I won't speak to you at all. Bring the elf. What the fuck is uh, wrong with I, you? I would already be running in their direction if I knew where that was. Yeah, totally. You're over, you're standing over her. Yeah, I'm going over there too. I okay. was the only one to vouch for you and try and let you do your own thing, and here you're attacking me? She goes, what the hell is wrong with you? She goes, fuck you, you killed my friend. What friends? She, uh, when Ricardo... You were cage. When Ricardo catches up to uh, her on the ground... Um, Rich, are you still holding her on the ground at this point? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I so think I'm good. Like Rich, you're fine. Her. This woman is the leader of the fucking encampment. Then why the hell was she in a damn cage? She starts Deceit. speaking in, in Elvish. Uh, I, I immediately put my hand over her face and prevent her from talking. Okay. Uh, okay, that might be a, a good plan, I guess. But <laughs> you hear, you hear. <laughs> I, I, I would say if, if she could have. Um, um, are you okay, Rich? Do I see Rich is yeah. bleeding or anything like that? I I'll go Rich now. Slash me. Okay. The hell. Yeah, he's he's I have half a of my cut out her tongue in case she's a magic user. Um, yeah, if she was a magic user, she might have used that instead of whatever she used to slash. Yeah, I don't know. Stuff. Maybe. <laughs> Let her talk. All right, but I'm not getting off of her. And in fact, I I pull out my other hand axe. And I'm still sitting on her. Like if she's on her belly, I'm sitting on her back. If you make one false move, I swear to God, I will chop your head off or at least hack through it. I will burn the both of you together. <laughs> that's, that's not necessary. You can just burn her. Okay. All right. I let my hand off of her mouth and keep the hand axe poised right over her head. Okay. Uh, when you do that, she starts speaking in Elvish. Who can speak Elvish in the party? I know it's Ricardo, but can you understand it, Riley? Yeah. Can you understand? I'm there now. Part? So when I start, when I hear, like, I just walked up to it now, so I didn't see anything that happens. So when she starts speaking Elvish, I just say in Elvish, "Oh, hey, I can speak that too." Yeah. I. As she starts to speak Elvish, I slap her with my free hand in the back of the head and say, Speak in common. Fritch. What are you doing? Let her speak in Elvish. Talk, I, woman. Why, she can speak in common so we can all hear. There's no need for secrecy. Cobblepot, are you next to him at this point? I'm there, yes. Okay. Uh, she continues to speak in Elvish after being slapped. Do you do anything, Rich? Or do you let her speak? What is she saying? No, I hit her again with my hand. I will she, she, keep, she keeps starting to say, like, you, and then gets slapped. And she goes, I grab <laughs> she, like, she, in she, spits, out, she then, spits out blood, and she goes, I you. I Rich's slapping hand. JP, and I, I will. Back. It's not like, you know, it's just a bap in the back of the head. I will attempt to create the world's first gag. Invent the world's first gag. Oh, my God. Okay, how do you go it's about just, doing that? It. Uh, uh, it's, um... I'm going to take one of my socks off, put it in her mouth, and then just tie some like leather around it. Okay, so you're sitting with one shoe off then? Or standing there with one shoe off? Or I'll just take some cloth, some spare cloth or something. Okay, for whatever reason, Cowlpot walks up, sticks cloth in her mouth, and then takes some leather that he tore off of his... Uh, from somewhere. While he's doing that, okay, I What are you doing now? You guys are fucking away. weird. Let, let her talk. She's and trying to tell us. Woman, this elven bullshit, I don't trust these secrets. Woman, is there a reason you're speaking in Elvish? Could you answer in common? She answers you in Elvish and says, it is my native tongue. As, she's, as soon as she starts to speak <laughs> Elvish, I just hit her again. Rich, you're being racist. Not everyone is as good at common as you. She was speaking common earlier, just fine. Just fine. She can talk it and now. You no, Elvish is my native language, too. That's nice. That's nice, but you speak common, she speaks common, we all speak common. Only the three of you speak Elvish, so why don't we just have this conversation out in the open? Because this bitch attacked me. She just, she grabbed a weapon off of my side and slashed. Look at this. Look at this. I don't trust her. I don't trust her to speak to any of you guys. Oh, you don't trust her now. What happened to Fuck no, you were right all along, Ricardo. I should have listened to you. Now, she can speak in common. Woman. I, I agree with can, Rich. She shouldn't be speaking in common. common. 
She once again split. Yeah. She's bleeding from the mouth at this point, having been slapped so many times <laughs> I'm by. You're in the back of the head. Oh, you're hitting her in the back of the head. Okay. Yeah, because she's face down. No, I have your arm behind your back. What? Uh, then I. What, when did this happen? I post straight. You have eighteen. Like forever ago, and I just eighteen straight. Bring it on. You never made any opposing rolls. You don't you just get to you know, to declare. Oh, um, guys. Fine with it. If you go to grab his hand and he makes another attack, then yes, you do have a post strength check. Amosa, can you speak in common yes or no? Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. no. Oh. You gotta roll 19 or higher, Riley. Just to see if you can stop him from, from slapping okay. anymore. Can we just let her speak? Yeah. Oh, oh sweet what Jesus. He wants I got right. both of his I have both of his arms behind his back with Riley one of my hands. It doesn't run if this two let her get away. Okay, what did you say, Ricardo? I heard the end of that. I said Cobblepot. Like, I told Cobblepot. She's still gagged at this point, by the way, because Cobblepot gagged her. I tried to push okay. him off that. Just, just, she doesn't run, I guess. Um, woman, you, you can't not do two actions at once. The answer is yes. Can you speak in common to us? She looks looks around at the group, and she she makes a nod. Okay. Remove the gag, or whatever the fuck you call that. I I take it down, but I don't remove it, so it's still like around her neck, and it can be replaced if it needs to be. But it's down. Okay. Okay. You remove the gag from her, and she looks at Ricardo, and uh, rolls her eyes. She goes, "He'll be back soon. You're all dead." Who will be back soon? She goes, "You might as well kill me. I'm not going to say anything else." All right, guys. Let's uh, let's get our horses and let's just head back to town. Common I don't. Or this is in common. <clears throat> Thank you. I think we need okay. to get out of here, and we need to take her with us. No, I yeah. think we should just end her life. Miserable. No. No. Higher up. Valuable person, and she could give us information. I, I attempt to pick her up her. and put her over my shoulder, like I did with Ricardo. I uh, take some of the gag string and I start tying well, her hands. Tie her first. Yeah, please tie her first. Okay, yeah, if, if you tie her, you can definitely throw her over your shoulder. All right. So I tied our arms together. We need more for the feet. Hey, Riley, do you mind if I consult Rev for a moment? Um, I don't know. None of your hands are free. I don't know how you would hold them. You can let go of me, and then you can let me consult Rev. Clearly, you have the woman under control. Hmm. Are you just going to slap me? He seems to be in kind of a slapping frenzy. Why would I slap you? I just keep holding Rich's hands together. Riley, let go of me, damn it. No. I know you want to be closer to me, but this is not the way. Violence is what? never the way. <laughs> what was all that then? You gonna let go of me, Riley? Come on. No, no way. <sighs> okay, you were well, wasting too much time. If the woman me. speaks the truth, then there will be something coming soon. I got the two jewels, JP. I pocketed them. But is the I guess the chest with the gold is still in the tent? Uh, yes. It. But if I mean it's gold, so you could put it into a coin pouch. You don't have to bring the chest with you. It was a small okay. chest, probably like that, uh, a foot by eight inches. Not very big. Okay. No, enough to hold sixty there's, coins. There's sixty gold that I want to give you, Cobble Pod, because I owe you that. And it's in the tent. Would you like to come retrieve it with me? Or, okay, I'll, I'll just fucking run to the tent and try, try to get it. Okay, you run to the tent, retrieve it, and then run back out. Yep. Okay, also, let's get the fuck out. Where did you guys out. leave the horses? Did They're, you like, I guess, pretty close to us now. We so were outside. Tied them up behind the grease, I think, and then moved on foot. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. You guys are running to your horses? Yeah. Who is taking uh, Omosa on your on the horse? Uh, I would say Rich should have to because Cobblepot's horse is too small and Largo's already carrying two people. Is it too small? Could I slump her over the back or something? Uh, yeah, you could totally do that. Okay, let, cool. let, let me take her. I, uh, I'm kind of worried that Rich might try to kill her or something if he, he grabs her. Okay. I'm not going to kill her, but I would rather she not ride with me. Thank you very much. I'll take her. Yeah. I'm going to go find my hand axe. Riley, you going to let go of me so I can go get the weapon she tried to kill me with? Whoa, she tried to kill you. And I yeah, let I Rich go. 
I told you. <clears throat> Didn't you see the blood on my arm? Didn't I say that she attacked me and tried to kill me? Weren't you listening at all? No, not I, really. I mutter and I walk back and try and find my hand axe. I was talking to Rev mostly. Sorry. Can I find my hand axe? Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, you didn't. Okay. It's not cool. like she threw it off somewhere. She yeah. stabbed you in the, or went to swipe at you, and then started running. Yeah. All right. And I want to recollect my other one from Cobblepot as well. I'll give that to him. Okay. And I'll give Riley back her short sword. Okay. And so we've right got all their items. You guys mount up and start to ride out of the camp. By the way, I still have the key that opens the gate. That she, the cage that she was locked in. Not that it matters. But. Okay. Yeah, you totally have that. I make sure that she's shackled and gagged before I head off with her. Uh, how are you shackling her? Are you using the leather? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any... Well, whatever. You find... I think Riley already tied her hands. You guys yeah. have leather yeah. from somewhere. I don't know where you got it from, but you have a way to tie her up and uh, gag her and throw Shred her over the... Part of the tent. Yeah, there you go. And uh, throw it over the back of Cobblepot's pony, and you guys ride off from the camp. Okay. And you are riding. Uh, you went out of the east side of the camp. You guys know that part, so uh, you're not sure where this this road would lead if you stay on it. But uh, you guys eventually can make it back to town if that's just where you're riding, without stopping. Yeah. All right, you yeah. guys yeah, make I it back to the would, town then. Yeah. Sweet. It's what time uh, is it? it's pretty early in the morning. It's about six a.m. because you guys went in the middle of the night and walked around for a while, and then it took you about hour and a half to get there, and uh, about an hour and a half to get back. So do we pass any guards when we enter the town? Like the guard that asked us to do this? No, it, it's pretty quiet in town uh, this early in the morning. You see a couple people uh, like going into the market, getting their shop set up. Um, but all the guards seem to still be inside of the guardhouse or not anywhere present that you can see. Okay. I guess we head to the guardhouse or wherever we would, we would think we would get paid for this. Okay. You yeah, guys, I think it's right there. You guys go to the guardhouse and, and knock. Uh, someone eventually answers and it's just a random guard. He goes, what is it? What do you need? Uh, hey, where's your homie? Would we know his name? Uh, he told you his name was his Edgar. Why is this not reloading? There we go. His name is uh, Sal. Sal. Do you know where Sal is? Is he here? Yes. Yeah, he's not. He usually shows up a little bit later than everyone else. It is the well. He he seems to think he's the one barking orders around here. He'll he'll be in a little bit. What what can I I can help in the meantime? Uh, he sent us uh, out on a mission to uh, that destroy. A, why do you have uh, someone bound and gagged on the back of that horse there? Um, yeah, we we had to destroy an orc encampment, and this human woman was actually the leader of them by by what it looked like. So, look, let's let's just uh, let's just talk to Sal about this. Let's um, yeah, we don't need to talk to his messenger. <laughs> I'm pretty what? sure they're equals, dude. What? Oh. His messenger? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> well, I didn't mean to uh, insult you, but I'm just saying... No, I Sal's, think you did. No. Sal's the one who gave us this mission. Why don't you Sal's say that to my one... face? Oh, you're not tall enough? Is that what it is? Hey, Whoa. hey, no. Hey, do not... See there, tiger. Salty. I put my hand on my sword. Don't pull it out, but I put my hand on the sword. Salty. Nice to... Salty. Oh. <laughs> Sal will be in a minute. Or being look, I'll let him know. He'll see you when he comes in here. Have a good day, and he walks off. Okay, I guess we'll just wait for Sal. Uh, Ten twenty minutes pass by. You guys see Sal uh, walking down the uh, the middle of the town, uh, and instead of walking in a straight line, he seems to be kind of walking in in diagonals and, and stumbling about. Sal, are you drunk? He goes, "Hey guys, what's up?" Hey. <sighs> why do you have a woman on the back of that horse? Because she I tried to out, murder me. I take out the finger oh. and I show it to him. We destroyed the encampment. Uh, you said it was three or four uh, orcs. There was actually an ogre as well. And uh, yeah, we killed like four orcs and an ogre. Here are all the Wait. eyes and the fingers. 
Wait, I said that there were three to four ogres. I didn't know anything about orcs. Orcs are probably there well, for support. But you only killed yeah. two? We killed two ogres. The others must have been off somewhere else. And a bunch of orcs. Yeah, here's all the fingers and eyes. You, you can hear a bunch of mumbling from size. Amosa when, uh, when he say all that. But you can't tell what she's saying. Now, listen, I look at you guys. Is she casting a spell? Is she casting a spell? Stop her! No, no she can't. she's fine. She, she can't. can't she can't talk. Sal, okay, uh, we found this woman there at the encampment, and I want you to be honest with us. Is this mission you sent us on, does it have anything to do with this woman? Uh, no. I was just saving the town. Or you guys were saving it. The... These ogres are assholes. They just steal our shit. That's why I sent you there to kill them. Have you ever seen this woman? Uh, and he, he leans over as he says that and he goes, Nope. You found her in the tent? Where, where was yeah, she? Yeah, she claims her name is Omosa. She was actually the owner of the nicer looking tent there, so we're assuming she was their leader. Never heard of her. How do we know that she was the owner of the tent, by the way? Uh, I was yeah, how do you know that, Ricardo? Uh, I was inside the tent, and uh, it was. I thought something was fishy, and then I realized everything was human sized and not. All right, guys. Worse. Wait, wait, but just because it was human sized doesn't mean it's hers. Listen, I've got, a plan. I've, got like a plan. I've got a plan. What we need to do, let's just You'll collect get your our money room. soon. What do you need? What? You, don't ha you don't have our reward? It's, it's in the building. I got to go get it. All right. We'll, we'll wait oh, here right. for that. Wait here. Um,. When he walks away, uh, okay, I'll he walks say away. Uh, quietly to the rest of the party, I say, I, I have, uh, and I make sure that um, Amosa can't hear. I have ways of making people tell the truth. So um, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to hold her overnight. Ways and then tomorrow people. we will talk to her and find out Is that out something exactly. you just learned? No. Absolutely. That sounds, no, that sounds I've good. always had that ability. Always. No, you haven't. That's your ring that you're talking about. The one that I identified for you. Or are you talking about command something? I'm talking about something completely different than either. Wow. Have you ever used that on us? Not that I can recall. I don't think so. All right. Well, whatever the case. That sounds like a plan to me. All right, let's uh, let's get this reward, and then we'll we'll keep her in uh, our hotel room or our wherever the inn, okay. and uh, we'll talk to her tomorrow. A uh, couple minutes pass. You guys are are standing around talking, having the conversation you just had. He walks back out, um, and he's got a, a small satchel. Looks much more smaller, uh, or much too small to hold a thousand gold in it. He goes, here uh, you go. I open the satchet. Uh, you see that there is a hundred plat inside. All right. Is that the equivalent? Yes. Yep. Okay. I also think right, it's only... really fun for a DM to just throw random currencies at people and make them figure <laughs> it out. Here's 10,000 silver. <laughs> Enjoy carrying that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. exactly. It's a gigantic sack with 100,000 copper. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Just a wagon with copper in it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, we split it up, split I guess, 25 plat a piece. And head, we head back to our room with Amosa in tow, and we set her in the... Uh, we'll put her in my room. When you walk in, the bartender's like, hey, 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 we don't... You gotta go to the darker side of town if you're gonna be doing that in the room. <laughs> I crack funny. my knuckles. This woman needs to be questioned. Look, I, you can question... You can do whatever you want to do to anyone in any of the rooms, but Good. not here. Let's go. You know, I, is, there a, is, is there a seedy part of town? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a a less than good establishment later, uh, further on where you can get a room. Okay, let's let's go to the shitty inn. Because look, okay. I, you guys can you can have your rooms here for the night, but I you're not going to be killing or interrogating. There's no killing. Or... There's just a simple couple of questions we'd like to ask. She did try to murder me, you know. Well, that's 
That's a sad story, the saddest one I've heard in a long time, Rich, but you can't. Not here. I don't All want right. any business like that. All right. I also pay uh, Riley. I gave her 10 plat from my chair, and I say thank you for the loan. Oh, and I already loan, gave. But... Oh, nice. then give it back. I'm, that's, I mean, <laughs> I could use it. Okay, I mean, you're identifying things for the party, so it's for all of our benefits, so. That's true. Thank you very much, and I take my money back. Um, I also, the 60 gold that I found, I gave it to Cowpot. Okay. Not that I use any of those rings, mind you. You're right. I'll start giving you strength as a uh, as payment. Yes. <laughs> uh, I I have nothing else I want to do with the woman until tomorrow. So I would just be killing time and sleeping. Okay. Same. You guys go into the uh, the other or further into the north side of town right before you hit all the the farmland and uh, find a a seedy. As we've learned before, <laughs> uh, establishment. And, Is it a uh, lot cheaper? Yeah. It, in fact, he doesn't even charge you for the room. He says, "Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, do whatever you want. Just uh, clean up when you're when you're done." You guys um, get a single room. I actually forgot who who got hurt during the encounter with the. Yeah. Just I got for six by the. I got hit for Mimosa. six as well. So I would cast um, Cure Light Wounds on both myself and Rich. Okay. Roll for it. This is for Rich, the first one. Whoa, oops. Well, five and four. We each get... We'll do five. Okay, so Wait, Rich Cure Light Wounds eight. is D8, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sorry. so we each get five, it looks like, because you rolled 2D8. You each oh, get nine, because uh, he rolls the 2D4 for his extra... Uh, oh, feeling. yeah, that works. Okay. Just in a weird way. Cool. <laughs> so we're both at full. Uh, I'm going to send you spells, JP. Okay. Uh, what are you doing with, uh, with the most? Are you just sitting her in the middle of this room? Um, tying her up. I assume we'd have a couple people watch her. I'm just going to watch her. I sleep. I'm going to try and talk to her in Elvish, even though I presume she's still gagged. Yeah. What do you say yeah. to her in Elvish? I say, it's really cool that there's another human whose native language is Elvish, you know? I don't see many of those. You know, we could be friends if you hadn't tried to kill my friend, Rich. Uh, as you, like, walk about the room, she just stares at you with, like, a death glare. Doesn't say anything. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I know your situation kind of sucks, but that's what you get for trying to kill people. Sorry. She makes some murmuring, but you have no <laughs> idea what she's saying. Mm. Probably something along the lines of you just killed all my people. <laughs> hmm, yeah, this isn't that great. Can't understand what you're saying. She just rolls her eyes and keeps staring at you. <laughs> 